Welcome to a demonstration of the Specular versus Diffuse Reflection interactive illustration from the Science Primer blog. The illustration explores the difference between specular and diffuse reflection by observing interactions of light rays on surfaces of varying roughness. Prior to running, the illustration needs to be initialized with the Set Reset button. Once initialized, the main window shows a light ray falling on a reflective surface, a line normal or perp perpendicular to the surface is shown as a dotted line. Two normals are shown. The faint gray line is normal to the surface as a whole, and the red line is normal at the exact location on the surface the light ray is hitting. On a perfectly smooth surface, these two lines are parallel. The orientation of the incident and reflected rays follow the law of reflection, meaning the angle between the incident ray and the normal is equal to the angle between the reflected ray and the normal. To respond to user input, the Run button must be selected. Once running, the angle of incidence slider changes the angle the incident ray falls on the surface over a range from 0 to 90 degrees. Surface roughness is increased using the surface roughness slider. Roughness values range from 0, which is smooth, to 1, which is very rough. The higher the surface roughness, the more uneven the surface. The rougher the surface, the more scattered the reflected rays will be. The switches below the roughness sliders control the number of light rays and whether or not normal lines are shown for all of the light rays. The initial settings show one light ray. The light's angle of incidence is 45 degrees, and the surface it's hitting is smooth. Moving the angle of incidence slider will change the angle of incidence. As the angle of incidence changes, so does the angle of reflection. Surface roughness can be increased using the second slider. As surface roughness changes, the red dotted line showing the normal line at the spot the ray is hitting will change and will no longer be parallel with the gray line showing the normal to the entire surface. Switching on multiple beams changes the number of light rays from 1 to 5. With a roughness of zero, the surface is smooth and the reflected rays from the set of parallel incident rays remain parallel. This is specular reflection. A normal line at each point a light ray is hitting can be shown using the show all normal switch. As the surface becomes rough, the reflected rays no longer keep the parallel organization of the incident rays. This is diffuse reflection. The higher the surface roughness, the more dispersed the reflected rays will be. Showing normal lines for each incident ray illustrates that each individual reflected ray continues to follow the law of reflection. But on a rough surface, the lines normal to the points where, where each light ray is hitting are no longer parallel to each other. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching and enjoy the illustration.